This is the Kool-Aid lab for IB Chemistry HL. So what I have here is I have some grape Kool-Aid, just the mix, no sugar. And I'm running it through a set pack cartridge. And it's already been prepped. So when I, when I start to push on this, you're going to see the Kool-Aid is going to get caught in the cartridge. And so what's going to happen is it's going to separate based on the polarity of, of the material inside the cartridge as well as the as whatever I'm flowing it through with. So in this particular case here, the red has already begun to flow through and the blue is caught. So what I could do is I could collect the one while not while well, keeping the other one in there till later. And what I'll end up with is I'll end up with the red food dye making it through to one and then the blue food dye ending up in the other and so here we have the red 40 and then here we have the blue dye one and then of course the two mixed together gives us the purple and so what we can do to analyze that is we can bring that over to our spectrophotometer which has just been calibrated so this works by shining a light through here through here to over here so on our cuvette there's one side that kind of has a webbing that you can hold the other side you can see through and so we line up the one with the light so that the light is able to travel through and that will read out to here and it will show us how much of each color so here is the red food dye and when we put that in here we see that we get absorption in the blue and the green regions because the red is being transmitted okay so when red light hits that red food dye it just passes straight through Whereas the other colors get absorbed, and then our perception is this red color. When we put the blue food dye in, this is going to absorb in the orange, and a little bit in the red and the yellow. And now you can see that the blue is being transmitted, and then that mix of colors making it through to your eyes is, is uh, translated by your brain to being seen as blue. And then here I have some of the purple, which did not separate well. When I put the purple in, you're going to see both peaks. And so, so the orange peak here is from the is from the blue food day, and then the kind of blue green peak over here is from the other one. And so you can see that this one has not been separated yet, unlike the other two. So it gives us a chance to kind of introduce how a spectrophotometer works, and a little bit of how chromatography works. Although we can get into a much higher detail about how can we separate this a lot better based on what type of solvents we could use, the size of this, um, and other features like that.